Welcome. Today's presentation is on trigonometry and the question reads, given that the estimate value of tan 36 is root 3 minus 1, without using a calculator or mathematical tables, determine the estimate value of tan 54 degrees, leaving your answer in the form a plus b root c, where a, b and c are constants. So in this question, the first part you're told that tangent of 36 is root 3 minus 1. So if we have tan 36 as root 3 minus 1, we can have this as a fraction by simply having the whole of that over 1. And then the next step is to interpret this ratio from a right angle triangle. So given the right angle triangle as this, so that if this particular point we have 36, then definitely this other side will be 54, so that sum of angles in this triangle is 180. So at 36, we know that tangent is given us opposite of adjacent, so the opposite side is here, which we are told is the numerator here, root 3 minus 1. So it's opposite of adjacent, and the adjacent is this side, and adjacent is given as 1. And then from this, we are therefore required to estimate the value of tan 54. So that means for us to get the value of tan 54 degrees, we'll simply come at angle 54 and argue the same. So if we use Sokatoa, So for tan, we have again opposite of adjacent, and when you're at angle 54 degrees, opposite is 1, and adjacent is root 3 minus 1. At this particular point, we'll not leave our answer in that form. We'll try to simplify it so that we have our final answer in the form a plus b root c. We will achieve that by rationalizing the denominator and on the denominator we have root 3 minus 1 so we multiply by the conjugate and its conjugate is root 3 plus 1 so we notice that it's only the sign that has changed here and then we multiply the numerator by the same factor that is root 3 plus 1 so from here on the numerator, when we multiply, we will have root 3 plus 1. And then on the denominator, we have a difference of two squares. So you can recall that a plus b into a minus b is the same as a squared minus b squared. So we will apply this quadratic identity in simplifying the denominator. So for this particular case, we'll have root 3 squared minus 1 squared. Remember this is a for this case and 1 is b. So this simplifies further to root 3 plus 1 over root 3 squared is 3 minus 1 squared is one. So we have root 3 plus 1 over 2. And we cannot leave our answer in that form yet. So we can have a half root 3 plus a half. And since we are required to leave our answer in the form a plus b root c, I also prefer that we begin by a half, so this is still the same as a half plus a half root 3. So for this case, a half here represents a, and then this a half here represents b, and then 3 represents c. That finally marks the end of this question. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.